Okay. And then as soon as I start the music, you My hit. finger's on the button. Because it's going to go quick. Well, I'm quick. I'm not sure if you... Are you? Are we good? Yep. You, you, you are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, Winter, Spring, and Fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand. Huh? Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Dad Light, Thug Life, Bright Lights in sight, alright. What? Dad Light, Thug Life, Bright Lights in sight, alright. Yeah. Dad Light, Thug Life, Bright Lights in sight, alright. What? Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Let's get it. What? At Tanagra, when the walls fell, this is Dan Owings coming at you yet another time for Lower Road Radio with my co-host, per usual, Jason. How you doing today? Good. So we just went through the Arby's drive through Ah. Uh, Technically, I had Jimmy John's eating in the drive through at Arby's. Mm. I wanted Jimmy John's. Estelle wanted Oof. Arby's, so Boy, I have a, that is gutsy. That is that is very um, I don't know gutsy. It's just arrogant. It's brash. It's yeah. inconsiderate. Well, here's the thing: is I'm really trying to get into ketosis. Mm-hmm. So you get the unwitch. I got the unwitch. Mm-hmm. Number seven is Spicy Italian Club mm-hmm. unwitch. It is a fabulous sandwich. Yeah, really, really good. Sure. And um, I didn't want to eat Arby's. I like Arby's, but she just. Had to rub their noses in it, eat it right in their faces. Okay, so I mean, Arby's should have a good keto option. Their the, their whole motto is "We have the meats." Yes, if they don't have a good car- keto option, I could prick, prick. I could pick the bread off. No, but they should be doing it for you. Yes, like Jimmy John's does. Yes, the Why? Unwitch is a great sandwich. It's a good deal. I actually prefer it. I think you can taste the combination of flavors better. The bread a lot of that. times soak up mm-hmm. the flavor. I can see that. And I mean, the, bread the is Jimmy fine. John's but bread is a very dense bread. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Very unique. If you like dense bread, it's good. Obviously. If you don't, mm-hmm. maybe not so much. Sure. Mm-hmm. But so you just ate your thing right in front of them. And, I did. Oh boy. I did. I was trying to, you know, be. At first, I was going to be sly about it. Mm-hmm. I thought, no, I I need to eat. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm eating right now. That's right. what's happening. Well, but, I feel like I, I feel like that wouldn't be. Like, I saw somebody walk into Panera with a Starbucks cup and just sit down once. Oh, God. yeah, that's pretty gutsy. I don't like that. Yeah. You know, because those are competing interests. Now, I mean, I've you, taken... could tell, you could tell Arby's, like, if the person called you out on it, be like, bro, <laughs> you know, what are you doing? You could, you could say, listen, if you had this, I'd have ordered it here, but you yeah. don't have this that I'm eating right now. Yes. You go into Panera. They have coffee. They got coffee there. Yeah. It's a coffee place. Right. You know? Well, so, unless you get one of the fancy coffees. I think they even have fancy coffees at Panera, Do don't they? they? I don't Do know. Do they have baristas? I don't know. I just get the black coffee. I just get the black coffee as well, but I don't know. I just, I don't like that. I would never do that. So I have a question. As I was driving, eating my sandwich, Uh huh. I noticed that I got a little bit in my beard. Sure, as you do. It happens. Mm-hmm. So just a quick question about um, etiquette, beard etiquette. Mm-hmm. We talk a lot about etiquette on the show. In fact, one of my three things is a specifically an etiquette uh, question. Okay. We I was going to say this. a whole series on etiquette. Yeah, that yeah. could be the show. Mm-hmm. But nah, I don't want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it will be. Well, sometimes. It's one of the many things. So the beard food etiquette? Yes. I don't understand. I, for myself, this is me. Sure. If Mm -hmm. I get something in my beard, I'm not cleansing the beard until after I'm done eating. Oh, I see. You're not going to keep on going to the beard to clean it. So many, many times I spill. I like sloppy, messy food. Sure. I mean, the sloppier, the better. Yeah. I've always said that. Mm -hmm. And so eating a sloppy joe. There's your your prime Listen, example. It's of a, a sloppy, sloppy sandwich. Food. You let's eat it just real quick. It, okay, just real quick. Yeah. Let's just do the Mount Rushmore of sloppy foods. Sloppy Joe is the sloppy George Joe Washington. Joe is the George Washington. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna say ribs. 
ribs are just very messy because mm-hmm. your fingers and it's yeah. finger food mm-hmm. and it's messy. Yeah. Would you put wings in that category? Well, I had the thought. I feel like, I mean, obviously we're going to flesh this out. We're going to find out. Maybe well, wings. Listen, I up. think nachos could be very messy. Nachos Done, can be very messy. Doesn't have to be, mm-hmm. but like loaded nachos, mm-hmm. messy. I mean, this isn't the same kind of messy, but like a um, a Nature Valley bar. I mean, uh, every crumble. bite just yeah. crumbs. <laughs> just more crumbs get on me than in my mouth. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it's just it's a crummy. I don't think it's, it's kinda, crummy. I yeah. don't think it's messy. I don't think it's messy. I, I apply messy with moistness. Mm-hmm. It's got to yeah. be moist and sloppy. How about a ice cream cone on a hundred yes, degree day? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's the Abraham you Lincoln get right, right there. Right to it. Yeah. Is there anything more frustrating than watching a little kid? <laughs> no. Eat an ice cream cone. I will not order my kids in ice cream cones. I'm just like, I'm, I'm putting what it in are a you bowl. doing? And yeah. they just... <laughs> and they all, You know what I mean? And it's just dripping down their hands. I'm like, there is... This is not difficult. You no. start on the bottom. You work yeah. your way around. Yeah. It's not difficult. You stay on top of it. Now, so if you ordered one in Prospect, you can't. On a 100-degree day, yeah. you, you can't cannot, keep up with it because no, of it's the ginormous. amount of ice cream they give you yeah. per cone. I mean, you got to get right to it. I mean, you're basically got to be eating the ice cream. Yeah. There's no licking. No. What, if you get the shell, though, it holds it It does. In, and then you can work down, and it holds it I like it in. the shell. Mm-hmm. I also like it tipped upside down in a cup. You know what I love? Yeah. The little crunchy things? What are those things? Oh, yeah. Like crunch. Is it just a crunch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lo- I, I'll take that over the shell. Listen. I'll take a waffle cone over anything. Well, come on. What are we talking about? A waffle cone. Anybody that says they like a sugar cone better than like a waffle cone? No. I, no. That's impossible. It's impossible. A sugar cone is styrofoam yes. with just a little bit of sugar in it. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. If it didn't have the ice cream, you wouldn't eat it. No. I mean, does anybody just grab a waffle? I mean, I would eat a waffle cone by itself. Minus the ice cream. Minus the ice cream. Yeah, I do all that. day. <laughs> all day. I would never eat a sugar. I just never be like, I'm just going to grab a sugar cone and a cup of milk and eat yeah, this no. thing. That would no. never happen. No. Now, the waffle cone, is that what they have in the, like, the prepackaged drumsticks? Yeah. Those, yeah, uh, listen, yeah, yeah. those are excellent. Well, those are also, I think, coated in chocolate on the inside. Yes, I love that. Like I love that little I know. thing. Listen, too. the little triangle at the end. It's great. It's, it's great. a reward for all of your hard work <laughs> to get to that point. <laughs> it's my favorite. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's really good. Sloppy Joe's. Yeah. Ribs. Ribs. I'm going to say loaded nachos loaded and ice cream. Loaded nachos and yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Uh, ice cream cone. Ice cream cone on hot, a hot day. day. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty messy. Is there? Are we missing anything? I don't know. There's lots of dips. So yeah. like, chi- like a chili. Like I mean, if there you are do some fritos. burgers that are really messy. If you yes. get the right burger, I love like a sloppy burgers, like a ch- chili cheeseburger. Yeah, or yeah. coney dog, a foot long coney dog. Foot long coney dog is pretty messy. Yeah, La- let's let's do that. What are we gonna take off? We can't take off um, ribs or sloppy Joe. No. That's obvious. So either ice cream or nachos. Either I'd take cream. off nachos. Okay, we'll take off nachos, nachos. Don't have to be sloppy. They don't have to be. No, you can. There's a right way to do it. A foot long, specifically foot long, foot long chili, mm-hmm. coney cheese mm-hmm. chili dog. Yeah, that's pretty sloppy. Okay, so you're eating any of those? I'll eat all of those at once. And you get something in your beard. Mm-hmm. My wife or my kids yeah. or anybody I'm around would sure. instantly say, "Yeah, you've got something in your beard," as they should. And the response of every man with a beard says, Thank you. No, I'm saving it for later. <laughs> First of all, I don't I say have, that every time. I don't have a beard that's long enough to really catch things like yeah. yours does. You no, know? I always say, no, I'm saving it for later. Yeah. And everybody cringes. It's cringy. But I mean, how later? I'm not talking like four hours You're down the at road. The end of like the, at the end of the meal. The meal. Or at the, at the end of the sloppiness. I feel like the food eating etiquette with a beard is when somebody points it out you pick it out i mean you don't just Instantly? let it sit there it's gross and then i gotta eat and watch this thing don't look at me go look that way i just know it's there it's hard it's like it's like in my peripheral so you expect me to wipe my face between every bite if that's what it takes i, mean, I don't like it eating. i won't do it well i'm not i'm not making you but i feel like it's proper beard etiquette I think other people should appreciate the fact that it's difficult to eat food with a beard at times. Nobody's making you do it. Nobody's putting a gun to your head telling you you got to grow a long beard. That you know, is true. With great 
with a great beard comes great responsibility. That is true. I might have to second guess that. So I, I would say proper etiquette would be to remove it every time. Yes. From a bearded man perspective, I, I don't mean, think it's if necessary. If you're just a guy with other guys or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But you're you know, watching a football game. If there's women which and nobody children does around, you know what I mean? They can't handle that sort of thing. Bunch you know? of guys at a football party. Uh huh. Super Bowl party. Yeah. Only dudes. Dudes. Guys eating nachos, get stuff in his beard. Mm-hmm. The guy next to him says, dude, you got something in your beard. Yeah. And I'm saving it for later. Yeah. Right? What else do you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, you don't have to be all apologetic. You'd be like, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. I put it there when it fell off my face into my beard. And I'm okay with it. Beards are not very sanitary. They say that. I think it acts like an N95 filter. I think it filters everything out. I'm quite sure it's just as effective. <laughs> That was my first thing, beard etiquette. Okay. What's your that was your thing? first thing? That was my first thing. I didn't even do the whole, what's your first thing? We bring three things every week. You just jumped right into your first thing. I did. Now, before we get into your first thing, yeah. we do need to address the hashtag part of your team. Oh, right. So we yes. have a couple people mm-hmm. uh, have already done so it. So for the whole month of September, correct. we are doing a giveaway. Yes. So if you comment on YouTube or Facebook. Any social media. Specifically YouTube or Facebook. That's yeah. your best bet. Uh, and then hashtag part of the team. Yes. And then say whatever you want to say. Right. Jason's an idiot. You know, Jason's dumb. Jason's ugly. He looks, you know. Yeah, whatever. Unkempt, I don't care. Any of those things. But hashtag part of the team, and then you will be entered to win a $50 gift card to Which, a restaurant of your choosing. We will be drive drawing it live. Live. Yeah. Live. Live. We'll do it live. With, <laughs> we'll do it live. So, yeah. Hashtag part of the team. Yeah. So your first thing is beard etiquette. Beard etiquette. Okay. Uh, my first thing is, so um, I've been going on a lot of bike rides lately. Specifically, I saw that. I saw the post that you sent. Yeah. I, well, or a I, picture. I rode, yeah, I rode my bike to Prospect from eh, roughly Mary. here. It's about yeah. 16 miles. Took me about an hour and a half or something like that. Um, it's a good bike ride. Yeah. Brought me back to my childhood, riding my bike in a Prospect. It was a good feeling. Yeah. It felt really good. Swim at the pool. I did naked. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I I I went to the park, of course. Yeah, a, a couple of things. First of all, this, this is not my thing, but um, I I was really disappointed. So I'm on my way into Prospect, and I brought some water with me for the ride, but I drank it all. And so I thought, well, the fountain when, is once unhooked. I get well, no, no, it's actually they hooked it back up. Okay. So that's that's not my problem. I just thought I'll go to the store and I'll just get a drink there. You know, yeah. and have my wallet with me. So I'll just I can drink all this now because when I get to the store, I get a drink. So I walked into the IGA and it's like it's not the IGA. It's like if somebody, it's like somebody <laughs> just put a gun to the head of my childhood and just blew it up. Yeah. You know, I just walked in and the IGA when we were kids. It had a little checkout thing, oh, and it yeah. was like a, now it's like a crappy Seven Eleven. I mean, not even a good Seven <laughs> Eleven. It's like a knockoff Seven Eleven, like yeah. a six twelve or something like that, you yeah. know. And it's mostly a place for alcohol and lottery tickets. Yeah. And then there's a wall of drinks, and then some other miscellaneous items. It's yeah. awful, and I hated it. I and bought some charcoal there. I was so disappointed in the whole experience. It yeah. made me so upset. I mean, I got all of these. I literally, now you and I, we grew up going to Prospect, the town of Prospect, Ohio. Yeah. We did a whole episode with Brandon Levings yeah. on Prospect. Yeah. But um, I literally turned the corner from, I rode in on Dunbar. Yeah. I turned the corner onto 47 and I smelled Prospect. Oh, yeah. I can't even explain yeah. what it smells like, but I was like, that smells Sio like Prospect. River. Side of River, Carp tournament. Farmers Exchange, a <laughs> little bit of Pierce's Pizza in there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And I was like, nostalgia overload. Oh, by the way, really quick, stop right there. Yeah. The smell of Pierce's Pizza. My wife bought this shirt. Yeah, did you get it from Guy Fieri? I don't know who that is. And when I went to put it on today, it's been washed, by the way. When I went to put, she got it at Goodwill. Mm-hmm. When I went to put it on, I smelled pizza. Oh, really? Yeah. So the guy that wore this prior either A, worked in a pizza shop, yeah. or B, ate lots of pizza. Or both. That is true. It could be both. I didn't consider but that. But even after the wash, it smelled yeah. of pizza. Yeah, somewhere about right here. <laughs> <laughs> and 
anyway, so that was upsetting. You smelled Prospect. I smelled Prospect. And then, then you know, I got over it. I rode to Prospect Park. That They're still doing great things at Prospect yeah, Park. So absolutely. I'm still, the best. You can go back there. Best park in America. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Best park in America. Other parks might have some amenities that this one doesn't. <laughs> but no other park has the nostalgia. Yeah. I mean, for, for us. <laughs> for us. <laughs> <laughs> but they're still doing their thing. In dollar for dollar, pound for pound. It still feels the they got a couple part. of new things going yeah. on, but all of the old things are there. Yeah, for the most part, and uh, still feels very much like the park that I went to when I was a kid, and I like that. Yeah, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. I am going on bike rides, and the other day I had a strange experience. I was riding through my neighborhood, kind of close to my neighborhood. My daughter and I are riding along, and I turned the corner and. There's uh, close to my neighborhood are some nicer houses than mine. You yeah. know what I mean? It kind of scales up. Yeah. Whatever. And I'm in. One I mean, of the, the closer you get to my house, sure. And I'm in one of the slight, like a road that's got some nicer houses. Certainly, all nicer than mine. Yes. And um, I see taking his trash out to the road, my mailman. Mm. Now I know being a mailman. I'm sure he makes more money than I do. Yeah. It's not a bad job. No. It's good benefits. Yeah. His wife might work. First of all, it was strange to see my mailman in... Outside of the mail. Outside yeah. of delivering mail to my house. I like my mailman, by the way. He's a great yeah. mailman. Yeah. Gets along with my the dog. Best. Yeah. He's the, literally the best mailman Ever. one could have. Yeah. I, I'm good relationship with him. <laughs> Don't know his name. And... Uh, um, But I see him, yeah. and it just kind of freaked me out. Yeah. Like... First of all, it feels like, like hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I yeah, live here. I know, and just yeah. I just didn't. Well, I I kind of like briefly made eye contact with him, then I just kind of rode my bike bike away. I didn't didn't talk yeah. to him or anything, and I talked to him when he walked by, and I just felt like, um, you know, well, I should live in a better house than you. You deliver mail in my house. You know, <laughs> you're my servant. <laughs> yeah, like the servant <laughs> can't be greater than the master. Yeah, you know, and um. And I know he makes more money. It's a good job. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not rolling in cash. I get that. It just, it just seems strange that he had a nicer house than me. Yeah, and um, it was a weird experience seeing my mailman out in life. It was strange. That leads into my number two. Is there more to it? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, this is a would you rather. I know you like would you rather. I do like would you rather. Would you rather? Live in a utopian society as a normal person or a dystopian futuristic society where you are the supreme ruler? Uh, it's the old, uh, would you rather um, serve in heaven or rule in hell? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's that bad. Well, dystopian, I mean, it's just, it's just everything's broken um, down. Dystopian future doesn't but the, mean hell. The utopia, I'm just a regular person. You're just a normal person. I'll take that. Normal? Yeah, I think you so. You don't want to be supreme. Your servant, you're upset that your mailman has a bigger house yeah. than you. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to be the supreme ruler? I mean, there is a pull to it. I'm not going to lie. There. I mean, I had to think about it. I mean, you have um, people at this point serving you. But supreme I feel ruler. Like I would just, my whole goal then would, to make, would be to make things better as for the who? ruler. For you or for everybody? For everybody. I'd want Are to make. You? What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want to make things better, and I feel like that's a lot of work. And if there's already this utopian society, and I can just, just be chill. a guy, yeah. and if it is utopia, then I don't really have to work. I can kind of do what I want to do. Um, that's where it breaks down. See, that's the beginning it's of my the, laziness. Yeah. That it, it's, it's not, See, I, I don't, don't have enough good. ambition. Yeah, I don't think that's good. So you'd rather rule? I think supreme ruler in a dystopian future. I mean, it's a good gig if you can get it, you know, be, I mean, if, you know, there only, there can only be one though. So it's Supreme ruler. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I'm sure I have, you know, like people that report to me that they have high positions too. Yeah. Not Supreme, but they're just leaders. Yeah. I'm Supreme leader. They're just leaders. And you got the the button under your desk that They've, releases they trap a door. trap door yeah. every once in a while just to Fire keep everybody pit. in order. Yeah. You got to get rid of one of the... Minions or whatnot. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I probably live in a nice house. Well, a castle. There's oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. A pyramid. I'd make I'd make him build me a pyramid. Pyramid, really? Yeah. An American pyramid, yeah. I mean, does anybody 
You don't live in pyramids. Well, you when you're die dead, in no, when you no, you don't die in the pyramid. You you well, spend if you're married to the guy, then yeah, you <laughs> die in the pyramid. <laughs> and all of his animals, yeah, and sometimes kids, mm-hmm. yeah, um, yeah. No, I I, I just I, read that they found Joseph's tomb in Egypt. The, oh, that they the, found that long time. The ago. pyramid where he was you. You're up on all that kind of stuff. I am up on that. Yeah. I've been on the Egyptian bandwagon for a long time. <laughs> Many years. I just subscribed, Good by point. the way, to UFO TV. It's $10 a month. <laughs> it's fabulous television. There's a series on it. This is not my Netflix suggestion of the week, but mm-hmm. there's a series called Watchers. And um, it is a biblical perspective about... <laughs> Aliens and UFOs mm-hmm. and the Nephilim mm-hmm. and all things like that. Mm. Giants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's really good. UFO TV. Yeah. Ten dollars you're paying for this. I, I did a it. month? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or ninety nine a year if you just want to pay it you if know. you're committed, but you're not doing that. Listen, I'm gonna do it for one month. You I'm gonna watch as much as I rip can. Through yeah. all the UFO stuff. This weekend I watched a lot of UFO stuff. Really? Yeah. Torah code, are you familiar with this? No. In the first five books of the Bible, uh huh, it's referred to as the Torah. Well, I knew that. Okay, listen. <laughs> I don't know this code that you speak. There is a code embedded into the Torah, mm. and it's equilateral, uh, skipped equilateral distance or something like that. If you skip every like thirty-two letters, it spells something. Yeah. And the. They've done this with no. Shakespeare and other things, too. Okay, I mean, you're wrong. You need to watch this. Just watch the Torah Code. I'll send you a link. On UFO TV? <laughs> yes. I'm not going to pay for it. Listen, you have to Can watch you it. give it, me your it, login? Yeah, it might be on YouTube, too. It um, probably is. It probably is. But these things, like 9-11 is in the Torah Code. It is. Okay. And it's... Um, it's way more than what I care to get into sure. right now. Because mm-hmm. listen, that's yeah. mm-hmm. it's it, a whole nother episode by itself. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. It's real. Okay. It's one hundred percent real. No, I, I yeah, I believe you, man. I'm. It's a real thing. I mean, it's. I'm happy that I'm done. You're happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Uh-huh. Check it out. Torah okay. code. What's it makes me very happy that uh, Baby Yoda is back there. Yeah. By the way, yeah, it's a really it's our best edition yet. It is. I thought the shopping cart was right up there. The shopping too. cart's great. I'm so excited for Mandalorian. Yes. The new season, October 30th. I've yeah. been watching it again, and I've been watching the behind the scenes Mandalorian oh, yeah. documentary thing. Yeah. Very exciting. It's, I think, it's my favorite Star Wars thing. thing. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's very good. It's, yeah. It's, it's perfect, actually. It is perfect. There's nothing that I would change about it. Yeah. It it really is perfect. It's funny when it needs to be funny. Yeah, it's it's serious when it, it reminds me of. So John Favreau said instead of watching and studying the old Star Wars movies, they studied the things that influenced George Lucas. Oh, so they studied old Western movies. Yeah, and old samurai movies, and they they said we you know we wanted to keep the Star Wars things consistent. You yeah, know what I mean yeah, to yeah, not yeah. break out of the rules and stuff. Although they broke a major rule. What's the that? eyeglasses? What the guy? The doctor has eyeglasses. I didn't know that was a th- rule. There, nobody in Star Wars wears glasses. Really? None. How did I not know this? And the doctor walks into the room. I think episode one, or mm-hmm. maybe two. It might be one. Yeah. And the doctor walks in. He's wearing white, and, and the Mandalorian shoot like is going to yeah. shoot him. Yeah, yeah. He has eyeglasses on. That's funny. But George Lucas never wanted eyeglasses because it like it's a modern thing that we would have today. Right. Like that would never be a thing a long time ago in a faraway galaxy. What about Maz? She's got those things. It's not glasses. It's like goggles. Goggles or seeing. It's not eyeglasses. Okay. So that's well, it. That broke doctor's a, major a big role. part of the plot. Yeah. He's a clone doctor. Yeah. Um, I called that, by the way. I was the first one to call that. Yeah, you were the first one to yeah. call it. Ever. As far as I know. Oh, so what's your thing? I don't know. Was we on my thing or your thing? We was... I don't know what we was. <laughs> oh, you're, it was your would you rather. Oh, yeah. Utopia. And I would dystopian. rather live in a utopia. Supreme society. leader. You that, may refer to that me makes as sense. the supreme leader. That yeah. makes sense. Was that what you would... I feel like... 
I would go for maybe maybe Emperor mm. as my title. Supreme Emperor? Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Uh, Whoa, let my people go. Yeah. Um, Caesar. Caesar, that'd be, that's a good one. Supreme. Czar. Czar's good. Czar too. would be good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Chancellor. Chancellor's pretty good. I like Chancellor. But I think Supreme Chancellor. Supreme Chancellor. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, my second thing. Would it be Supreme Chancellor Dan or Supreme Chancellor Owings? I feel like I'd have to come up with something else. Like Supreme Chancellor... Um, Dino. Uh, Dino? Yeah, like Dinosaur. Yeah. Except Dan. Okay. Dan. Sure. Danny the Dinosaur. Yeah. You know. D- 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 yeah. Or or some older name or or, or like, you know. Phineas. Meat, meat Cleaver. You know. Oh. You know, Supreme. S- what is it? <laughs> Supreme Chancellor Meat Cleaver. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Supreme I mean, Chancellor. Give me some more time to brainstorm. I Pirate Hook. Yeah, something menacing. Captain. What about captain? I don't know. You got a lot of captains underneath you. You're yeah, the supreme, supreme captain. Yeah, you're su- well, even supreme captain implies that maybe somebody's above you, I think. That's true. All right. Um, my second thing, it's another etiquette thing. Has anyone asked, ever asked you, hey, did you fart? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> did you? Are you? Did you? Yeah, me too. So... <laughs> Here's the question. Uh, let's just assume you want to be honest. Yeah. Well, have you ever lied about that? Yes. How often? Not often. One out of every... hundred. Hundred. Yeah. When somebody straight up asked you, did you? It depends the setting. Uh-huh. But yeah. If there's other people around... Bro, did you, did you just <laughs> let one go? No. <laughs> I... S- I smell it though, you know. You smelled it. You dealt it. And first one to the one <laughs> rhyme is the one to do the crime. <laughs> have I showed you that? No. There is a whole. Yeah, you have. You okay, have. Okay. There's yeah. a whole litany of rhymes, and I probably won't be able to find it very easily. Oh. Um. So let's. So here's my question. Let's just assume that you want to be honest yeah. when it comes to the answer to the question. Did you? Did you? Did you just let me go? <laughs> right? Oh, I found that. I found. Um, uh, whoever denied it supplied it. Mm, yeah. Whoever detected it projected it. Oh. Whoever deduced it produced it. <laughs> and here's the, my favorite one: whoever made the rebuttal had it come out their butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, let's just assume you want to be honest. Yeah. Okay, and you're not going to lie about it. Uh, certainly, there's a statute of limitations, right? Of how long? Yes. Okay. So, let's say I let one go <laughs> 10 minutes ago, and it's still just hanging around. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and like, yeah. did you... W- at what point can I say no? Honestly. Like, when? Like, what's, now? What's no, the no, time? No, you say... The, you ask me. Did, did, you, did you fart? Like, right now? No. <laughs> so, here's the question. So can you, what if five seconds ago, 10 seconds ago? Like right now? Did yeah. I, like right now? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, but like in the, you know. Like in, in the history of my life, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody does. But. That, that's, that's my question because I, I feel like sometimes, <laughs> specifically in the house. Define, so ask me again. Did you, did you fart? Define just. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the kids will walk into the room and be like, oh, dad, did you fart? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I, I mean, I've been farting. You know what I mean? You walked into the room. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track of it. <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not gonna deny it. I yeah. can't confirm it. Because I don't want to be the one who supplied it. Yeah. Yeah. But when I'm by myself, it's just, I mean, I'm not trying to. You know, yeah, but but sometimes you don't you go nose blind to it, you know, and uh, yeah. you just fumigate in the room, yeah, you know, just dust cropping, yeah, crop dusting the whole room, yeah, and you don't you don't know, 
And then somebody walks in the room and like, Jesus. And, and you're, and then, did you? And then you say, well, I, no, yeah. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so in, 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 just as a general rule, yeah. what do you think the statute of limitations is? Five minutes. Five minutes. So somebody walks in, bro, did you, did you just let one go? Yeah, a couple minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I mean, you maybe, know. I'm not keeping track. It was maybe five minutes ago. I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like at that point you can say, no, it wasn't me. I think it also depends if you're the only one in the room. Mm-hmm. If there's multiple people, mm-hmm. you deny it mm-hmm. as much as you want. I said this before. Um, <laughs> this is, I love this. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. I don't know why I believe this. And I know I don't actually believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but somewhere in the recesses of my brain, I think that if I'm in a place <laughs> where, where there's a lot of noise, yeah, like, La- like a concert, right? Like some, I can fart and no one will smell it. Yeah, like it's like oh, <laughs> like where I would be around a lot of people, and then the thought would come up, like oh, I kind of have to let one go, but yeah. I, and then I had the thought, well, it'll be okay because all this loud music. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I actually have that. I'm like, no, no, we're, no one's gonna smell it. It's too it's loud near. Too loud <laughs> to smell it. Yeah, but I, I'd like. I'd like Mythbusters to do something on that. Yeah. I feel like I might be onto something. I yeah. don't know if the sound waves break it up or something. Yeah. But I, I honestly <laughs> believe that on some level. <laughs> you ever have you ever have a great place? Like did you ever have a a a a, a, <laughs> an, a place in, in your life that you was just a really safe place to let it go? I don't know. I mean, define safe. Um, gym class. Yeah. Elgin South Elementary. Oh, like if you have to go and like it's got to come, let's find a place where I can do right. this. I got you. So when you're running laps Ohio, around the gym. Yes, there it is. <laughs> so we start every gym class off by doing about 10 laps. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's when I would let it go because the gym is very small. You know what I mean? And you're running, so nobody can quite pin it down, you know? And so. I just get it all out of my system right there because I know we're about ready to do some sit-ups and that's when it's going to want to happen. So if I let it all out of my system, then I'm good. I don't want to be halfway up the, the yeah. climbing rope and oh, then all of a sudden... Getting ready to ring the bell. Yeah, and then... You yeah. know? Uh, so that was, for me, that was always a great place yeah. to let it go. Jumping jacks? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously a loud concert. Yeah. You said last week... I said, I don't, what last week? I'm referring to the fart thing. Mm-hmm. That Michaela said, if you fart, you are heavier yes. than if you don't fart. The math, or the science works. How out. does that work? Uh, she could explain it to you, but somehow uh, the air... The hot air makes you lighter? Yeah, it's less dense, or it's more dense. I don't remember. She could explain it to you. She had did a whole thing about it. It was her science class for the day. I just have a hard time believing well, that. Well, she wrote a whole paper on it. I could probably, I could try to find it, but I'm not on it doesn't Wi-Fi matter. right now. So, uh, that's, is that your second thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my third thing. Have you ever, and don't refer to me, because I don't, Okay. Um, I'm not this bad. Someone worse than me. Have you ever been around someone who just lies and they can't <laughs> help it? Like, like, they not me. It feels I, not like it's not me. Question. No, it's not. So okay. So I'll, I'll prep it up like this. There's a guy I used to work with. Yeah. I no longer work with this guy. Matt Neff. No. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> this guy told me. Yeah. Um, we were talking about, um, like sports we played in high school. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, you know, I one year I ran cross country. Yeah. I said I wasn't very good. I, I, I said I think my best time was like 1850 yeah. or something. I said it was like a six-minute mile at best. Mm-hmm. You know, 18 minutes, three mile, 3.1 mile. You yeah. Know? And he goes, yeah. He goes, I ran cross country too. He said, um, 
I used to average, uh, he, he goes, I could run a four minute mile, like during cross country. Uh huh. That's and a 12 minute cross country race. A 12 minute cross country race. You're winning race. nationals. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes on to say, he goes, but like, he goes, I didn't win because the guy that like beat me ran 330. Like he averaged 330. This person doesn't know what they're talking about. No. And they're just lying. They just can't help it. They can't help it. Do I know this person? No. Oh. Okay. You might, but I doubt it. Okay. I just, I am blown away. Like, you're speaking. I just told you I ran. Mm -hmm. And you're just throwing numbers out. No, normally I ran 21 minutes. No, I'm just saying, like, this he, guy is just oh, throwing yeah, numbers yeah. out. To he someone has no who has point. some knowledge, right. Mm -hmm. So, like, my best race was, like, 18-something. Mm -hmm. But normally I was, like, 21 minutes. Like, yeah. it's a seven-minute mile, I, which I, is not fast. I only ran when I was a freshman, and yeah. I just had one sub-20. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Felt that's not very good. No, it's not. You know, better than I can do today. That that is true. <laughs> um, Not on a bike, though. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> Depends on how much downhill there is. <laughs> um, no, I'm just blown away by the arrogance, or I don't know what it is. Is it arrogance or Moxie. is it? It's there's something that's that's yeah. there just to. I mean, to be so specific. Yo, he I gave mean, specific times and numbers. Well, I mean, I think if I was just a compulsive liar and I yeah. couldn't help myself. Right. And I didn't know anything about cross country, which obviously this guy doesn't because right. it's a bad lie. And you said, well, I was in high school. I mean, it was okay at 18 minutes, you know, yeah. which is like a six minute mile. Then I would respond with, if I wanted to lie and make yeah. myself look good, like um, I would probably say, I'd probably do the math and say, yeah, I was almost down to five minute mile. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was just like about... 15 minutes. Yeah, I was just in the 15 minute good. mark. Yeah, yeah, then you... It's totally believable. Yes. It's impressive. Yeah, I would have I would have been impressed by like, that. Wow, that's pretty impressive. But to just... Like he averaged a four minute mile. The problem is the guy to just beat me was going 330. Yeah. I'm like... Wow. He set a record. Mm -hmm. Like a, a world Olympic record. Yeah. In high school. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Um, so at that point, I... Just didn't listen to him ever again. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I think lying is a... They say that when you remember something, yeah, you're not remembering it. You're remembering the last time you remembered it. Hmm. And so, which is why there are lots of stories, like take 9-11, for instance, in which people will swear up and down where they were. Right. You know, but then you go back and check the facts and they weren't there. Right. And they're not trying to lie. They're not saying because it makes them, makes them look good. They're right. not saying, well, I rescued somebody from the tower or something like that. They're just so convinced that right. that's what it was because at some point they got it mixed up with something else. And then that's how they started telling the story. Right. And so their brain, because you don't remember it evolves. the event, yeah. you remember the last time you remember it. And so you're not straight up lying. You're not, there's a difference between not telling the truth and lying. Right. Um, and, and I think that happens, but with like a compulsive liar, I guess they can't help it. They just can't. I don't even know if they're, they know they're doing it. I think most people don't. They, it's just, they, they just, can't help it. Mm -hmm. It just, it's there. Have you ever been in the middle of a lie that you didn't realize was a lie until you started saying it and then you just wrote it out? No. I happened to me. I, I wasn't. I know I, when I'm lying, I w <laughs> and I run with it. <laughs> it wasn't a lot. It wasn't anything that made me look good. It yeah. wasn't. I was there was no benefit from it or anything like that. But I, we were saying something, and I started telling a story as if it was me. And then halfway through the story, I realized that wasn't me. Yeah. That was I read that in a, a guy that I was with or okay, something. Yeah. I was like there, but I wasn't the one oh, that yeah, it I happened gotcha. to yeah. or something. Yeah. But then halfway through the story, I was like, it's gonna take more effort. To, to be like, wait a minute, that wasn't me. Right. And then to like go back and tell the story. So I just wrote it out. Yeah. You know, do you feel like that's wrong? I mean, I wasn't I wasn't benefiting from the lie. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't it, it, I, I got no compensation the, for it. What's the I don't uh, even remember what I I don't even remember the story. I just remember that. Like Okay, so tell me this. Is it a scenario where there's a group of people sitting around like a campfire or mm -hmm. a dining room table? And remember, you're just telling stories. Yeah, that was the situation. Yeah. So I think that's okay. Okay. Cause I think sometimes you can enhance stories. Mm. Yeah. That's what I like to refer to it as. <laughs> I'm enhancing the story. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so what happened to that person? Yeah. 
it enhances the story if I went through that. Right. Or there are details of the story. What's well, like the whole, uh, is it Dan Rather? Is he the one that lied about being in the helicopter? Um, was it Tom, no. Wasn't Tom, Tom Brokaw. Brokaw? Was it Tom Brokaw? I Peter think, Jennings? N- no. What's the other? Brian Williams. Brian Williams. Yeah. That's who it was. Yeah. That, I mean, I, I, I watched this whole thing on it, and the person making like the documentary was trying to convince us, the listener, yeah. that Brian Williams wasn't lying, that he was, and I'm like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> like, yeah. that one, yeah. I mean, it's one thing, it's like, I ate 12 hot dogs, but I actually only ate eight. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Or something like that. You know, it was, it, th- that's a that's a big lie. That's, yeah. that's a whopper. Yeah. You know? That guy's a liar. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. And the the person... And he's the one reading the news. Yes, exactly. So you can't have that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That guy. Uh, all those guys. Yeah. If you search Lauer on uh, Google, YouTube, anything... Matt Lauer? Matt Lauer. Uh, Everything. Unfortunate. Yeah. Not a good guy. No, I don't want him associated with the show at all. But... Matt, you can come on anytime you want. <laughs> we'll break it down. We'll talk to yeah. you. Matt Lauer on Lauer Road. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah. You know? I mean, for about five minutes. Probably shouldn't bring your daughter that day. <laughs> maybe we'll let him come out. Maybe he's gotten... To tell the truth. Maybe he's gotten better. I hope so. Yeah. I hope whatever he was dealing with, that he's not dealing with it anymore. Yeah. I don't remember the specifics. It I doesn't matter. Some sort of female situation. Yeah. What a world we live in. All right. Your um, third and final my thing. My third and final thing, actually, Jason, mm. is my Netflix suggestion of the week. But I got more to say about it than just to say it's my Netflix mm. suggestion of the week. So should we play the music now and then I do the thing? I don't should know. should I do the thing and it leads to the music? I just can't quite. We'll just. It's happening. It's too late. We'll do it live. Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows of the ones. Netflix, Netflix, or maybe Hulu Plus. Netflix, Netflix, or watch these shows of the ones. Netflix, Netflix, or maybe Hulu Plus. Or maybe Amazon Prime or something like that, like YouTube. We don't want to put a box around what you watch, so you never know. All right, Jason. My, um, I'll, I'll lead into it by saying this. Yeah. And I am going to get to my Netflix suggestion. Should I do mine first? Sure. Why don't you do yours first? And then we'll get we'll it out of the way. Roll with yours. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, Stella, if you watched this with me or not. I watched it. I might have watched it by myself. The Old Guard. Did you watch that with me? No. Okay. I might have watched it with Harrison. I don't know. So the Old Guard is a movie where there are four warriors who have secretly protected humanity for centuries, Hmm. and they are basically immortal. I like it. So they get shot, um, and the bullets pop out. Mm -hmm. Like, they drop to the ground like they're dead, Mm -hmm. and then their body regenerates, and they come back alive. Sure. And over centuries, over, you know, thousands of years... Mm -hmm millennia uh they've learned to fight really really well right well as you would yeah so um you know there's you know kidnapped orphans in africa Mm -hmm. and they go and set them free Mm -hmm. that type of stuff and and so they've made it their mission to try to help humanity with their special powers and uh i mean the whole story is they get tricked into a situation where an evil company is trying to harness their power and to be able to sell it okay so and where can you watch this netflix netflix it's called the old guard it's a netflix original they're making a lot of those nowadays you know i'll tell you what i i was just scrolling through the netflix original material Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's a lot and i think it's good stuff still i watched a lot of money we watched one the other day it was actually produced in mexico i think and it was called the platform have you seen that? No. Oh my gosh, that is wild. That's there's like um, a platform, <laughs> a series of rooms, mm-hmm. rather, like three hundred rooms stacked on top of each other, mm-hmm. and there's a hole in the floor 
mm-hmm. on every one, a big square hole. Okay. And they're at the very, very top level. Uh, each level has two people on it. Okay. At the very top level, a fresh cart of um, a platform of food, like fine dining, mm-hmm. gets lowered. And it stops at each level for like five minutes. Okay. And people eat. So the bottom level is not a lot left for these guys. There's nothing left. Can they make their way up to the top level? Can they climb up? They can't. Mm. And so every month, they get recycled to a new level. So there are are some months where they're towards the top. Are you going to be kind to the people beneath you? Well, yeah. None of them are. Really? None of them. Would you be? No. (laughs) Well, and that's kind of the whole thing. It's actually a fascinating movie. It's, um, I think it's mostly, I mean, there's some... Things that are maybe, I wouldn't want my little kids watching it. Sure. But Estelle, did you like it, Estelle? Yeah. Yeah, I thought, I mean, she liked it. I thought it was very good. It's a psychological, like, what are, what is, not mm-hmm. what is going on, because it, do, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. How would you treat people? How would you interact? What would you do in a situation like this? Okay. Fascinating. All right. So, the platform. Kind of got right. double whammy. The Jason, old guard and the platform. It's fall. Yes. I mean, September. It is. It's fall. Although it was like 87 degrees today. Yeah. Um, I had a pumpkin donut the other day. Mm. And Where I, from? Uh, Duncan. Okay. You know they're not Duncan Donuts anymore? They're just what? Duncan. They took out the donuts. What? Yeah. I don't like it. They're trying to get out of the donut game, get into the coffee game. That's the whole thing. What are you Duncan? Uh, they still have donuts. I know, but that doesn't make any sense. Well, uh, what are you doing? I'm Dunkin' Donuts. Apparently, where they're popular, they're just known as Dunkin'. That's like slang. Are you going to Dunkin'? Hey, give me a Dunkin'. I want to go to Dunkin'. You know, did you get those donuts from Dunkin'? That well, that could of be thing. a nickname. Well, they just went with it. They okay. just dropped the donuts. I don't like, like Facebook it. dropped the the, you know. So, it tasted like fall. Mm. The pump, the pumpkin donut, pumpkin spice. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm not sure. It just said pumpkin donut, and it tasted like fall. And I started thinking about fall, and so really quickly, my Netflix suggestion of the week is Lord of the Rings Extended Edition because for me, a fall tradition is that I watch the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition in the fall. Yeah. Sometimes during the rest of the year, I might turn it on just to have it on, but I watch it on purpose every fall. Like at what age? Because my kids asked me recently, Mm -hmm. could we watch Lord of the Rings? Mm -hmm. At what age is Lord of the Rings appropriate? Well, it's PG-13. I would say depends on the kid. Yeah. You know, I think some kids might be ready as early as eight, nine. Okay, so Teddy is eight. Mm Mm-hmm. He was asking. I think him and Gus both. Yeah. I think some kids might be ready that early. Some kids might be 12 or 13, you know, yeah. before they could really handle it. I mean, there's some violence in it. I, I think the violence is fine. I, I think the part that is freaky is the orcs. Yeah. Coming out scary. of the ground, born mm-hmm. like they're yeah drawn out from the mud. Yeah. It could be very scary. Yeah. But, I mean, I stretch the limit. You know this. I stretch the limit with my kids. We watch things that are... Um, probably slightly beyond them at times, but you know, I don't know. I just don't know what age Lord of the Rings. I think I let my kids start watching it around eleven. Okay, but Abby was not interested. Still yeah. isn't. Yeah. So um, does that make you sad a little bit? A little bit, but she's a bit of a rebel. She's kind of like she's so you have to come across Star as like Wars. She's I don't want you to watch it things. it's okay I don't want you to watch she's it like, I don't like that you guys like it I don't like it yeah. it's your thing I don't like it you know okay alright that's fine you like you your don't stuff you know what's we'll good like our stuff. so for me it's a fall tradition yeah uh, the pumpkin donut all of these things start to make me think of fall so I just thought we have two minutes Jason yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know how long our music Mount lasts. Rushmore of fall traditions oh I was gonna say seasons okay Mount Rushmore of Seasons. Okay, the the George Washington is summer. Okay. Because of Independence Day is fourth. Well, I think all of it. All okay. of it together. All right. I think Abraham Lincoln is probably fall. Yeah, for sure. Right? No doubt. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, spring is probably... Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, I was going to say mm-hmm. that. And then Teddy is... Is um, winter. Is winter, yeah. It's just the way it is. Yeah. So, we got two minutes. We got one minute. No, we got two minutes. We okay. got a 52. Two minutes. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, a minute and a half. Okay. Fall traditions. Yes. Campfire. Campfire. Yeah. Sweat. Uh, uh, hoodie. A hoodie is not a tradition. A hoodie is something you wear. Oh, I thought we're uh, things associated with no, fall. No, no, no. Traditions. traditions. Things you got to do every fall. Fall Friday night lights. Friday night lights? High school football game. Eh, it feels very, yeah. I mean, if we're in England, it's Saturday soccer. I would prefer that. Yeah. But, I mean, growing up, you're talking about, this is the Mount Rushmore, so these things are iconic. Trick-or-treating. Yes. Carving pumpkins. Apple bobbing? No. Uh, apple When's picking. the last time you bobbed for apples? Not iconic enough. No. Uh, Guy Fox Day. Remember, remember. The 4th of November? I thought it was the 5th. Whatever. One of those days. I don't remember it. <laughs> I love it. Have you seen V from Vendetta? I've seen it. Oh, fabulous movie. Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin carving. Pumpkin patch. I like a good pumpkin patch. You go, you pick out your pumpkin. Corn maze. Mm. That's a fall tradition. It is. I feel like campfire is a thing, though. It like, is. It's out an activity. By the fire. Yeah. Football is somehow involved. Yeah. Okay. You feel like high school football more than college football? Well, I don't know. I mean, I there's something special about Friday Night Live. Why don't we do this? Yeah. Why don't we pick this up next week? Write okay. into the show. Tell us what you think. Yes. Because we're basically out of time. We are. All right. Well, this is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweats. Sit, boo-boo, sit. Good dog. I have spoken. <laughs>